looks like there's also um, so it looks like there's also a mini um, crystal nail file in here which whoop, I'm throwing Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with an extremely exciting video. <laughs> I'm so excited because I haven't opened my VIP bag yet. I did see some sneak peeks so I kind of know what's in there but I don't know what's in mine. So I decided I was gonna open all my other stuff but leave the VIP bag and open it on camera with you. Um, so I'm gonna do that today in this video and then I'm gonna do my haul in a separate video because there's over 60 polishes in that haul, so it's probably gonna be quite a long video, so I recommend a snack for that one. You may actually need a snack for this one too, I don't know how long this one's gonna be, but probably a snack would be required for this one too. Um, so before I talk about what's in the VIP bag and show you what's in the VIP bag, I just wanna talk about the event itself. Pam outdid herself again this event is so well done. Um, they worked out a couple of the kinks that I had last year, everything, the layout was a lot better this year I found. Um, the silent auction was laid out really, really nicely and in the same room as the um, the event. So that was, was all in one big room and one big space. It was a lot um, easier to see, I think. Well, I think last year a lot of people forgot about the silent auction because it was out in the hall. Whereas this year it was inside and you could actually see all the all the um, goodies that you could bid on. The event was amazing. The brands that were there were amazing. I'm happy with everything that I picked up from the event. I can't wait to start wearing some of them. I actually haven't taken off what I was wearing at the event. Um, this is, I'm wearing Sophia from Tonic right now um, because I'm just so overwhelmed with all the polishes that I picked up. So I haven't actually... Um, started wearing anything. I swatched every single polish on a swatch stick yesterday. Um, that took hours because <laughs> uh, I want to show a swatch on a swatch stick when I, when I do uh, my haul video for you. So that took a couple of hours yesterday afternoon to do that. Uh, well, well worth it though because I got to see the formulas on all these polishes and I'm happy with I think everything. I don't think there was anything that was disappointing. When I got it on the swatch stick, there were a couple that really surprised me. One in particular blew my socks off. The formula on that polish, oh my god, oh my god. I wasn't expecting it because it's a multi-chrome and I find that multi-chrome should generally have to build up. This one, no, no, one coat, done. I couldn't believe it. So I will um, show you those polishes in probably my next video uh, because in, in addition to this, the VIP bag, the haul of the stuff that I purchased. I also have this bag of polishes that um, I had ninja to my aunt's house in um, the UK and then my mom brought them home for me. So I have all of these as well. So um, there's Argus Nails in here, there's Berry M in here, there's um, Essence polishes in here. So I have the Nail Ninjas collection in here too. So. I will be doing a video, a separate video, on these polishes coming up as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like drowning in polish right now. Um, I do have a couple other things I want to show you before the VIP bag. I did receive a couple of uh, products as because I attended as press. I was very excited to attend this event as press again, second year in a row. I have another press badge to add to my little collection, so I have both of them here now on my um, lamp. Just to remind me of what an amazing day both days were. They were both wonderful days. Uh, but I did get some stuff as press. I'm going to show you those first and then we'll look at the VIP bag. So we'll start off with girly bits. So when I got to the event I went over and gave Pam a hug and she said this is for you. So I have this lovely girly bits tumbler and there are some polishes in here as well. And when I opened the, the when I opened this and looked at them, I realized these are part of her new concert series collection. So I have all four in the concert series. There's three in here, and I bought the fourth one. So I'm gonna do a full review on these at some point. Uh, so watch out for a review of the this collection uh, on my channel and on my blog coming up. So this one here is like a yellowy goldish red multi-chrome. This is called Call of the Zombie. This is to represent the Rob Zombie concert that she went to. And then this one here is called Now and Then and this is Guns N' Roses. So it 
That's a lovely multi-chrome there too. And this one, I think out of the three that were in here is my favorite. This one is called Head Full of Dreams and this is for Coldplay. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. The shift on this is gorgeous. So I have those three polishes and there's also a sample of her new Boo Boo Butter that uh, she's releasing. They're starting to release some um, skincare products. So I will have a go with this as well. So I think this is just like a bomb. I'm pretty sure. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, yeah it's like a bomb. So. so I will give that a try, uh, try as well. So thank you very much Pam for those goodies. I'm looking forward to trying the concert series. Like I said, I will be putting up a review of those when I get a chance, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. So thank you very much, Pam. I stopped over at the Bees Knees table and spoke with those guys for a little bit. Um, the, Sarah is lovely. I had a nice conversation with her um, about how she just seemed to blow up overnight as soon as House, is ha House Unhaunted Chill was released and uh, yeah, we had a little chat. And they gave me a little bag and so the little gift bag they gave me had three polishes in it and a double-ended magnet. And this one here is actually a magnetic polish. Uh, this is called The World. So that's that beautiful. Look at the blue flakies in that. Is that not gorgeous? And I love how she has the little sticker on the side of her bottles noting that it's a, mag a magnetic polish. Because I have some polishes I'm like, is this the magnetic one or is this not the magnetic one? I get confused. But I'm glad that this has this little sticker on the side that says, yes, this one is a magnet one. Um, and the other two polishes she gave me, this one here is from the newest collection that actually launched at Indie Expo. This is called The Dreams That Are Answered and this is absolutely gorgeous. I saw Dell. Um, live swatch this and this is just absolutely gorgeous this could be a topper or it could be opaque by itself it's absolutely stunning this was actually on my shopping list to buy so when I found it in my bag I was very happy the last polish that was in the bag from Bees Knees is House on Haunted Chill. I do actually own this polish, so I'm going to put this into a, a giveaway that I have coming up um, because I don't need two bottles but this is the polish that literally um, made Bees Knees a household name within the indie community. This polish is is what they're known for and apparently it is still their best selling color. So I will put this into a, an upcoming giveaway. Look up, look out for that. It's going to be coming up very, very soon because my two year anniversary is actually tomorrow. I've completely forgot. I knew it was in June, but it's actually tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not prepared at all but yeah keep an eye out for a giveaway I'm gonna have a couple of other things I'm gonna put in a giveaway too and this will be one of them so we'll keep an eye out for this. Rogue Lacquer is a new um, brand. Um, Rachel from Ever After Polish, um, Rachel and Miranda from Ever After Polish parted ways. Um, Miranda is staying with Ever After Polish and um, Rachel has started Rogue Lacquer. So these two polishes are press samples of the new Girly Bits exclusives. So Rogue Lacquer you can purchase at Girly Bits and these two will be the exclusives from Girly Bits. Um, so I will have a swatch of these of these on my channel and review of them coming up soon as well. Um, they're not sure when that's releasing yet so I will try and coincide it with that release if I can with timing. But these are absolutely gorgeous as well. This one is like a like a steely blue base with all these lovely flakies in here. Let's look at to focus. There we go. And this is called Puns of Steel, which I love the name. So funny. And this one is like a multi-chrome base. All those rainbow flakies and some holographic. And this one is called Girly Bits. So those two polishes are exclusive to Girly Bits. If you want either of those, you will have to purchase them off the Girly Bits website. But like I said, I don't know when they will be when they will be available yet. Uh, my Indie Polish, which is a new brand to me, I've never tried them. They are Canadian and it's shame on me that I haven't tried them really. Um, it's just the shipping is so expensive within Canada, but I did pick up a couple polishes from their booth as well. But these were in the press package that they gave us. This is um, a thermal, it's, it's just called Blogger Exclusive Thermal. I haven't transitioned this yet, so I don't know what the other color is, but this is like a gray, purpley kind of color. This looks like it's got some shimmer in here too, maybe. So I haven't tried this yet, but we will definitely do a swatch of this at some point. 
And they also included their matte top coat, which actually makes me excited because I've never tried matte top coats. I've never owned a matte top coat in my life. So when this was, when I pulled this out of my bag, I'm like, oh, I was gonna go purchase one of those. So that's great. So I'll give this a try as well and see how I like it. The cosmetics company that I cannot pronounce because it's, I think it's Welsh. Um, gave me a little sample of an eyeshadow. Excuse this, I gouged it with my fingernail, but this is really, really creamy. Let's see, look at that, it's nice bronzy color. I think this is actually nice for my skin tone. So I don't know if that has a name or anything. It, it just had, I think it had a V on it, I think, on the uh, little package that came in. So I will give that a try, I'll put that in my, um, I'll put that in my Z palette with my other loose eyeshadows. Give it a try. The lovely Sammy of Cuter Cuticles. I love Cuter Cuter Cuticles stuff. I've purchased from them last year at Indie I bought a bunch of stuff, and just around the holidays, I did a big order of acetone additives and um, cuticle oils. Still have a ton of cuticle oils. I just I pretty much cleared her out of whatever she had left of acetone additives on Sunday because I needed to stock up on her stuff on her acetone additives and really really good so she gave us this little trio of the lemon cupcake scent which is apparently her best selling scent um, it also came with a lip gloss this lip gloss was exclusive to the trio you had to buy the trio to get it and this is absolutely wonderful lip gloss. I really hope you sell more of these going forward in the future, Sammy, because I really, really like this. So yeah, with this little trio here, we have the cuticle oil, barrier butter, and the lip gloss. I haven't opened this yet because I have another one on the go. I don't want to open something that I'm not ready to use yet. So I have these, th this little trio to try. And like I said, I love Sammy's stuff. If you haven't tried Cuter, Cuter Cuticles uh, products, I really do recommend their oil, the berry butter, and their acetone additive. Great products. And last but not least, I have this little bag of goodies from Inspired Sense. Inspired Sense is another new company um, by another member of our lovely nail polish community, Trish Pilon. Um, so she gave me a bunch of stuff in here. So this, these are um, Manny Soaks in Victorian Garden scent. She also gave me the Healthy Nail Starter Kit, which I'm looking forward to trying. She gave me the instructions on how to use it and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna give that a try and see if I can get my nails in better shape now that I have my eczema under control. And I just lost it. <laughs> and what else is in here? Business card. This is the Extreme Hydrating Skin Spritzer. So I will give that a shot. This is a little roller ball of cuticle oil, which is like the perfect size to throw in your purse. Perfect. I will definitely be throwing that in my purse. And there's also a hand and body butter in here too. So I talked to, to Trish before the event. She emailed me asking if I had any set scent preferences or anything, any skin allergies, anything like that. And she gave gave pretty much everything to me in an unscented um, formulation, just because some scents I'm sensitive to and um, sometimes I'm allergic to certain things because of my eczema. So I don't like, like to try, I'm very cautious trying new products because I don't want my skin to flare up, if you know what I mean. So thank you very much for this stuff, Trish. I will give it a shot and I will report back. I'm hoping your little nail kit will help me and if it does, I will definitely be purchasing from you. So thank you very much, Trish. It was very nice to meet you at the event as well. So here's the main event, the uh, the lovely VIP bag that you're all waiting for. <laughs> so this, look, this is massive. I filled this thing. I filled this thing. Like it was so full. It was 14 pounds. When I got home and I put it on the scale, it was 14 pounds. I had this bag and I had the bag that Debbie sent me um, from, she sent it to me because she couldn't make it to Indiex where she was gonna bring it, but she couldn't, so she sent it. That bag that I had, I had her VIP bag in that bag. I had all my camera equipment. I had um, a whole bunch of other supplies in that bag. So that bag was full. And then this bag full of nail polishes that I had purchased, it was 14 pounds kill me <laughs> it literally killed me i had to I, we had to get an uber back to the train station because 
this bag was just it was it was too heavy to carry my back was killing me it was so sore so anyway this is what the VIP bag looked like and inside was this with all of the VIP goodies so we're gonna go through the Ziploc bag and have a look at what's in here and as you can see nothing is opened yet so I am looking forward to seeing what is in here okay so the first thing that we have here looks like a sample from Terra Essentials so this is relief daily cleanser with pink clay and papaya ext extract so it looks like a cleanser I'm gonna check out the ingredients on this before I use it and if I if I'm okay with it I will give it a shot if not I'll pass it on to somebody else so that's the first item out of the VIP bag next item is a wax sample from under the under a full moon um, this is one of the I believe this is one of the girls that does HHC oh it smells really strong this is passionate kisses it's really strong this is called passionate kisses and it says a, a tardiness of passion fruit meets with sugary notes and a light blend of vanilla musk I don't normally melt wax just because I'm scared that the kids are gonna knock it over and destroy my furniture. So I think I may I think there's another wax sample in here. I'm gonna pass these off to my mother-in-law because she does have a wax burner, so I will pass those ones off. We also have a coupon for a free um I think it's a subscription to this magazine, which is Fashion Forward. I'll have to look into that some more. Oh, this is what Brianna has been waiting for me to open this bag so she can have this bath bomb. <laughs> I don't really take baths very often. Uh, my bathtub isn't very big. Like, I'd like to have a nice big soaker tub, but we don't have one of those. So I will definitely be giving this off to her. It does smell nice, though. So this is called Great, Great Ape Escape Bath Snowball. This is by Soga. So as soon as I got home and Brianna saw this, she wanted it right away. Uh, but I've been holding off so I could open it on camera. So I'll give it to her when I see her tonight. Fiendish Fancies. I bought a ton of stuff from Fiendish Fancies because they had a new um, Handmaid's Tale collection, so I had to get that. So Fiendish Fancies did something similar to what they did last year. They had a bunch of different exclusives, so you could have it, one of these polishes in your um, bag. And I have the Apparition. So this, ba this collection is based on classic movie monsters. So this is, ooh, I like this. This is pretty. This is a white curly base with blue, purple, teal glitters in here. Look at that. Very pretty. So I'm gonna look forward to wearing that one. Here's the other wax um, sample. This is from Rogue. This one smells kind of citrusy. It doesn't have a name on it, but it smells citrusy. So that looks good. Bunch of, um... oh, I had one too, Trish. Ugh. <laughs> there was something on uh, the Facebook group that somebody posted this picture that said, it says prize, <laughs> come to table. Um, and a whole bunch of us got this and didn't realize until we got home that we had, we had prize. So. Unfortunately, I did go and see her at the, well, I did go and see her at the table, but I didn't show this card. But there's also some um, water decals on the back here. And then there's also a whole bunch of um, business cards in here. Some of them have codes on them. This one is from the uh, green glitter that was also there, some a glitter sample. Yeah, there's a bunch of codes here and stuff. Oh, looks like I have two glitter samples. So there's another one. This one is another polish. Oh, this is from Beyond the Nail. Oh, this is pretty. This is called Cherry Beach. It's like a peachy kind of color and it's got like copper glitter in here. I'll let stop focusing. It's got like coppery glitters in there. That's really pretty. I think that'd be nice for fall. I do like Beyond the Nail. I picked up a couple of really, really nice hollows from Beyond the Nail. Oh, another one from... Oh, I can't pronounce this. I really want to, but I don't want to make a fool of myself. So this cosmetics company, and I think it's 
another, yeah, it's another eyeshadow. It says PR on it. I don't know if that's the name. Greenish kind of color. Birthstone Saga. So maybe it's a PR. Would that be Peridot maybe? Possibly. Oops. Rip the package. Yeah, Peridot. Look at that. Aren't I good? Let's do that one underneath this one. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if it's really my color, but it's got some good payoff on it. So I will put that one with my other one. This one, I believe, is the Colors by La Roe. I bought a ton of stuff from Colors by La Roe. I loads of stuff from Colors by La Roe. I love her stuff. And this is called, you like, eh? <laughs> Look at that. Purple shift. Look at that. That's freaking gorgeous. Her um, exclusive last year was O Canada. I love that polish. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this one looks like it's going to be a nice one, too. Looks like it's got some flakies in here. Oh, I love colors by Laro. That's from Alter Ego. And this is called Poised Heroin. This is kind of like a plummy color. Again, this would be nice for the fall. This bottle shape is really unique. I think they're the only ones who have this bottle shape out there. So that's from Alter Ego. So this is a native war paints. It's, um, it's part of their special effects line. And this is called VIP That's Me. That just looks like a lovely topper. I think most of the special effects line are toppers. I don't own anything else from this line, so give that a try. Okay, look at how cute this bottle is. So cute. This is from Turtle Tootsie Polishes, and this is called A Rose is a Rose. And that is so pretty. It's a shame it's not a full size. It's a gorgeous color. So that is a rose is a rose. Oh, wow, this is just really, really, really bright for the uh, bubble wrap. This looks like it's from Ever After. And this is called Good Morning Sunshine. And just look at how bright that is. My camera is freaking out. It's got some iridescent uh, glitters in here too. Very pretty. Nice for the summer. So I have to wear this at some point this summer. I've got so much, I've got so many new polishes to get through. That's the only problem. This one is from uh, Paint It Pretty. I think I saw a sneak peek, sneak peek of this one because I have their Facebook. I'm on their Facebook group. This was. This is from. So this one's from Paint It Pretty, and this is called Only at Expo A. Eh? And that's a gorgeous purple. So pretty. So that's only at Expo A. So this is a crystal um, nail file mini one. This is perfect for my uh, purse. I'm gonna keep this in my purse because there's always times I'm out, I have a nail that needs to be filed and I have to wait till I get home and it drives me nuts. So I'm gonna put this in my purse. This one is the Looks like bees knees. Yeah. Oh wow. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is called Jefferson Starships. Just look at that. That is gorgeous. Holy cow. So that's Jefferson Starships. There's two left in here. So this one is from Fair Maiden. And this is called Cosmic Confection. And this is actually from Polish Pickup. That's what they put in the VIP bag was a bunch of um, pol past Polish Pickup shades. Because my friend who came with me got one that was like lime green. I think it was called Blimey, I think. So this is pretty too. This is my kind of color, so. And it's not one that I have from Polish Pickup. So I'm looking forward to that one too. And the very last one in here is the Girly Bits one. And I have seen this one because she also had it on the table. And it is definitely my color because it's teal. 
lovely. Look at this. So this is called Very Important Polish, IEC 2018. So let's look at that. That is my type of color. Gorgeous. So that is very important polish from Girly Mints. So that's it for the VIP bag. <laughs> I hope I didn't have you sitting here too long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and edit this down as much as I can because according to my timer, I've been recording for 45 minutes and I still have to record my haul. So I'm gonna try and get the haul video up next. I don't know how many days are gonna be in between these videos because they're probably gonna be really long to edit but I'll try and get them up as quickly as possible. So I thank you very much uh, to Pam again for an amazing event. I enjoyed it so much. I really hope I can go next year. Depends on what weekend you're having it, if you're having it in June, because um, my husband's cousin's getting married next June. So let's hope it doesn't interfere, interfere with Indie Expo because I wouldn't be happy if it did. <laughs> I have to pick between the wedding or Indie Expo. I kind of want to go to Indie Expo. Nail polish addict problems, I know. I need more polish like I need a hole in the head. So yeah, keep an eye out for the, the haul video and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.